Hey, and welcome back to the Deep Rock Sports Extra. And we thought we'd take just a little bit of time here to kind of go around the district a little bit, talk about some of the teams that, uh, you know, we realigned this season. Uh, we're playing a lot of new teams, teams that we haven't played before. And uh, I thought we'd just kind of give it a little recap here, a little bit this far into the season, uh, starting with Kingfisher. Boy, I'll tell you what, Mike, they ran into a complete eagle buzzsaw out there at Hennessy. A big Kingfisher County uh, cross, cross county robbery game. And I'll tell you what, the you know, Hennessy Eagles took care of business, 32 to 13. You know, one of the things people look at that game and go, man, Kingfisher, Hennessy, well, you stop and think about it the last 10, 12 years. Hennessy's won two state titles in Class 2A. Wow. So uh, they've been successful not only in football, they've also been successful in basketball. They haven't won any state titles in basketball, boys basketball, but they've been at the state tournament. What does that say a little bit about? I mean, they're Class 2A, mm -hmm. Kingfisher's 3A, mm -hmm. you know, and getting beat by a, a lower class. I mean, that, that, that's got to be kind of a mental uh, taxing on, on Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. Well, let's stop and think about this. People who don't know the history of Kingfisher County, I want to stop and take you to football. Let's look at Kingfisher, look at Hennessy, look at Cashin. Now let's switch that over to basketball. Let's look at Cashin, Hennessy, Lomega. Uh, you have a lot of tremendous teams uh, there in Kingfisher County. And so mm -hmm. there's a lot of those kids, you know, that are raised out in rural Oklahoma that come in. They have a super strong work ethic, and they seem to buy into the vision that the coaches present there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that was – people had to kind of take a double look at that when they saw that score oh, the next day. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, continuing around the district, uh, of course, we talked a little bit about earlier about uh, Cleveland 16-7 uh, winners over Manford. Perkins trying. Mm -hmm. You know, a new coach at Perkins trying, a whole new offensive scheme. They are airing the ball out at Perkins. You know, the last five, six years, they've been a, a, a really pounded right. uh, wing T offensive team. Uh, but this year, they are airing the ball out with a new coach there. They were 42 9 winners. Again, over Cleveland time. and Perkins coming up for our next two on the road tests uh, for the Cushing Tigers uh, right in a row. A absolutely. Uh, continuing in the district, uh, Blackwell was a 38 12 uh, winner in that Cape County robbery. Uh, also, we had the Oklahoma Centennial. Uh, they played Oklahoma City John Marshall, and of course, Marshall won that game 45 uh, to 12. And then we don't want to forget about uh, Heritage Hall. Uh, Heritage Hall played Crosstown Robberies Cassidy, and uh, obviously beat Cassidy pretty handily. Well, I know Don had mentioned that a little bit earlier too, and he saw some of the highlights from Heritage Hall. Of course, you know you've got a lot of uh, uh, talent that that's come from there. I mean, uh, Barry Sanders Jr., Sterling Shepard, some of those notables are playing D1. Yes, Wes Walker. Uh, playing uh, D1 ball in the professional ranks too as well. Absolutely. So uh, Heritage Hall, uh, they have an opportunity to recruit very well there at kind of a private school. Is that – I don't know if I would use the word recruit, but uh, they certainly – They have an they have a way. They have an outstanding academic program and that, that rivals some small colleges, I'm sure. And so uh, they get a lot of kids that come there. I, I, the guy that I officiated with is actually a teacher there at Heritage Hall. Yeah. So a uh, really strong academic school followed by a really strong sports programs yeah well like coach Shuba said you know there's just a lot of things that you just can't really tell from week to week uh, this district is so uh, diverse and like you say I mean we've seen it with with Kingfisher this week Absolutely. coming up and, and uh, 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 losing to Hennessy and so I, I think it just really kind of opens us up a little bit from what we've seen with the Cushing Tigers this far the balance we have I, there's nothing that our kids need to hang their head about because uh, there's all the confidence in the world and anybody can get beat on any given night yeah, and you know you think about college football and talk about all the parity well you think you can bring that down to 3a 3a traditionally has been extremely extremely tough mm -hmm. uh, football class you know and and now you look at uh, you look at where we're where we're slotted in there at where, where obviously you said uh, in another segment that we were really working toward the west and I'll tell you what, the Western teams are tough, that's for sure. Now, who was it that beat Clinton out there? Was that, was that Heritage Hall? It was uh, – Heritage Hall had beaten Clinton earlier this, this year, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, wow, just a lot of uh, – just don't know what to look for from week to week. <laughs> you, you know, and, and you know, the one great thing about it, though, is, is that Cushing's got a great group of kids uh, that are plugged in. They believe in the vision and the strategy that Coach Soup and his staff have put together to help those kids get over the hump and, and get some good wins. Yeah. Because you're involved with the uh, Cushing Youth Center football, talk about that just a little bit. How's that going for the 4th, uh, 5th, and 6th graders? Well, a big weekend this weekend against the Omogi Bulldogs. And I, I tell you, we saw some good football football out there. We didn't win all of our games, but I tell you what, the parent participation, grandparent participation was great, and the kids were great. And let's not forget the great cheerleaders also in the yeah. UCLA League. A yeah. lot of those 
kids. Yeah. They all did a great job this weekend. So. Yeah, it's been exciting to see a lot of the parents come out and have the stands filled. And, Absolutely. Uh, um, on you know Friday night, Saturday. Absolutely. I think they'll probably be on the road next week. Maybe. They are. The uh, U.S. is traveling to Stillwater. They're going to take on the Stillwater Pioneers there at uh, Pioneer Stadium and kick off at 2.30 to get them the All right. Well, we appreciate that. Mike Kennedy with Terry Brandon. I want to thank you all for uh, uh, tuning in this segment of uh, Around the District here as part of the Deep Rock Sports Extra. We'll be back with more right after this.